Today we'll be setting up our Java virtual machine and compiler so that we can write some Java code and actually compile and run it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Java download page. It's actually available at oracle.com slash technetwork slash java slash java se slash downloads slash index.html but it's probably easier to just search Google for Java SDK which will take you right to that page. Uh, I'll include the actual address in the com or in the description below so that you'll be able to access it directly. But uh, we're going to download the latest version here, not the patch set update. We're going to click on Java SE 8U101, and we're going to download. We need to accept the license agreement, and you can click that to see what that actually contains. Lots of legal text, lots of stuff here, lots of good restrictions and disclaimer of warranty, all that. So you can read all of that on your own time if you like, but we're going to go ahead and download the, uh, we're going to accept it and download the Java SDK. So we're going to need the Java or the Mac OS version here because I'm on a Mac. Uh, if you have a Windows machine, you can get probably the, uh, the well, if it's a recent version of Windows, probably the X64, but we're going to proceed with the Mac. So you click this, and that will download, and what you end up with is this JDK 8U101 Mac OS X64 DMG. Now, I've already downloaded it, so you don't have to watch the download process, but if I double-click this, you will be able to see this is going to open up a, a installer, and if I just double-click the installer, it's going to run my installation wizard. I'm going to hit continue. It's going to take up a bit of space, but we're going to install this for all users. I'll go ahead and install the software, enter my admin password. Here I'm writing files. We're going through the process, package scripts, everything. So once this is done, you should actually get to this page and you can hit close and we'll close this and we can uh, go ahead and show our desktop and we'll right click and eject JDK 108 or uh, 8 update 108 because we don't need that anymore and that will eventually be ejected. So how can we test to make sure everything ran properly? Well if you go into your applications, open a finder window, it should be this one right here or if you have an applications folder on your taskbar you can go into applications then you scroll down to utilities go into your utilities folder and you want to open terminal. Now if you've installed Java, the Java SDK properly you should be able to type Java C and you'll get this whole big list of things. So uh, if you want to read that, you can type Java C, pipe, which is the straight line, probably right above your enter key. Uh, and you can pipe that into more so that you can see all of the details. But I guess that almost fits onto the page there. So you can see all the details. And if you type Java C, you get this normal message. Then you've installed everything correctly. If that doesn't come up, you may have to reinstall. Something might have failed in your installation. But you should see Java C should run. And you should be able to type Java-version and get Java 1.8. Dot, dot zero oh, underscore one zero one. So that gets us started and we can move into the next lesson where we actually start writing some code. Thanks for watching.